Unbelievable! Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 unforgettable The Chase moments. <laughs> You, um, it sounds too little time for me. Well, I think you're passing a few. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at moments, contestants, and questions from the chase that will forever remain part of the show's legacy. Are there any unforgettable moments we somehow managed to forget? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Pill Forgets How The Game Works One of the oldest contestants ever to play the game had everyone in stitches from her very first question. Up against Mark the Beast, she accidentally announces her answer out loud before suddenly remembering that giant computer in front of her. C. PK. PK. Oh, I don't have to say it. I've mucked that up, haven't I? And no one can quite contain their laughter, not even the Beast. I'll give you a little tip. Keep it to yourself. Yeah. Okay. She answers the question with such confidence, but is it enough to convince her competitor? Adding to the hilarity of the moments, after confessing that she actually had no idea what the correct answer is, we learn that Mark has only gone and copied her wrong answer. Jaser has put. Uh, that's great. Oh. <laughs> that's exactly what I did. I didn't have a clue. <laughs> Number 9. The Governess Gets Her Flirt On And the Governess got her nickname due to her headmistress-like demeanor. It's very rare to see her break character, which is why these scarce moments are always so memorable. Whilst facing boxer David Hay, during a celebrity special, she leaves us all stunned with her not-so-family-friendly description of what she'd like to do with him. Hello, David. Hello, how are you doing? Ooh, I just want to lick you all over. <laughs> Bradley can't help but grimace, whilst the rest of the audience are left in hysterics. And if you wish to take a step closer to the chaser, she will offer you. Oh, please take a step closer. <laughs> <laughs> Only David is able to keep his cool and even plays along. If it was up to Anne, she'd probably just have given him the money then and there. If it was anyone else, I'd say it was pathetic, but <laughs> you're, just, you're just gorgeous. I don't care what you do. <laughs> Number 8. Catherine Ryan Gets Cocky Catherine Ryan is known for her dry and direct sense of humor, as well as her love of celebrity culture. When posed with a question about Billboard's Woman of the Year, she confidently locks in her answer before Bradley has even finished talking, much to his annoyance. You've put Beyonce. Please wait until I've finished all the options in the question and answers before no. you press your button. <laughs> Will Beyonce wait for you? But in typical fashion, she is ready with a hilarious comeback. The interactions become even funnier after she discovers that her answer was actually wrong. It's Taylor Swift. I can't believe it. No, me neither. Still, for every comment Bradley makes, she's always ready with a very quick and witty response. Who knew that Ryan and Walsh are the comedy duo we never knew we needed? Have you ever seen this show in your life? <laughs> yeah, but you didn't ask these questions when I watched it. <laughs> Number 7. The Biggest Celebrity Win During this celebrity edition of The Chase, blues singer and Hollyoaks actor Duncan James figured he had nothing to lose by taking the highest offer on the table. Duncan, for £139,000, The Chase is on. Let's go! Well, it was also the highest offer ever made to any contestant to date. Playing against Jenny the Vixen, James certainly keeps us on the edge of our seats with a very tense game, as he guesses his way through most of the questions. It sounds too little time for me. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my God! Ultimately, he rejoins the others, adding £139,000 to their prize pots. Unfortunately, though, after an equally intense final chase, it's the Vixen who comes out victorious. The correct answer is... Number 6. The Chasers do Panto You look great! Of you've course actually, I do. You actually look stunning. 
Believe it or not, even Bradley Walsh doesn't know which chaser is on the show until they walk out at the top of the episode. So just imagine his delight when during the 2012 Christmas special, each chaser came out dressed as a different Panto character. The Beast comes in dressed as a giant, and rocks her Maleficent-esque costume, and the Cinnaman makes a fearsome pirate. I'm enjoying this, Jamelia, uh -huh. or as Bradley Wiggins now knows you, Dave. <laughs> However, no panto is complete without its dame, and that honor is bestowed upon the Dark Destroyer. They're all great sports, but Sean Wallace in particular seems to enjoy getting into character, and it's brilliant. Chaser, let's do this! <laughs> Number 5. Bradley Walsh gets thrown by an innuendo. James Galway is nicknamed the man with the golden what? A. Gun. B. Flute. C. <laughs> it's no secret that the writers like to throw in the odd innuendo to trip up the host. In fact, Bradley's often hilarious reactions to these double entendres is very well known amongst fans of the show. Whilst normally he's left laughing uncontrollably before he can even get through the question, on this occasion he does a double take as what he's just said sinks in. A. Jack by the hedge. B. Tom by the tree. C. Dick by the bush. <laughs> After a moment, he manages to compose himself in order to continue. Incredibly, this is one of the very rare occasions where Bradley actually manages to regain composure and even throws in a few jokes of his own. It wouldn't be digged by the bush, surely, would it? <laughs> I don't know, but you wouldn't want any of that covered in garlic or mustard. That's for sure. <laughs> Number four, an unbelievable final chase. Amanda... Redmond. Correct, we push the chaser back, Amanda Redman, great answer, here we go. In one of the most intense final chases ever, there's only one contestant left standing, and she goes head to head with the Cinnamon for the £50,000 prize. With 18 questions to get through, it seemed highly unlikely that things will swing her way, especially as he races through the answers. However, as he approaches the final question, things take an unexpected turn. A walkie-talkie. Stop the clock! That is wrong. In a twist of fate, he repeatedly trips up on the penultimate question, and Susan manages to push him back. How many legs does a crayfish have? Six. Stop the clock. That is wrong. It's almost like a miracle, but Susan ends up walking away with an incredible sum of money. Time is up! <laughs> Number three, Sharon is on a roll. In 2018, Harry Potter superfan Sharon went viral for her rather unique approach to the cash build around. Perhaps her nerves just got the best of her, but most viewers were left quite impressed by her guts and called her performance ballsy. Three words was a hit single from Cheryl and which black eye? Well, I am. Correct. Meaning a boat, the word sampan comes from what Pass. language? Chinese. Finland was the first European Pass. country. Women. Complete the American saying, in for a dime, in for a what? Pass. She passed on a record number of questions, often not even attempting to venture a guess, and occasionally not even waiting for Bradley to finish talking. She only answered a total of one question, which fortunately she got correct. D. Chox is a British Pass. Art. Chocolate. Football manager, Rafa. Liverpool. The orbit of what major... Pass. She then opted for the lower offer against the chaser, but sadly was caught before she could make it home. Glass. Well, I think you're passing a few. Number two, the biggest win to date. With £90,000 on the line, there's a lot at stake for this trio in the final chase, but playing against Sean Wallace, nicknamed the Dark Destroyer, you wouldn't necessarily like your odds. Complete the saying, if you don't ask, you don't what? Get. Correct. Who is Princess Diana's only brother? Uh, Charles Spencer. Correct. However, in large part thanks to Lauren, the team amounted to a decent 20-question target, giving them a fighting chance. Luckily for them, the chaser wasn't on the top of his game either, and with several pushbacks, their chances at victory edged closer and closer. Laura? Stop the clock. Gloria. Gloria? Gloria. Gloria? It's correct. We push the chaser back. It's 12 required. As the time runs out, the contestants are left speechless as they celebrate winning the largest prize fund ever to be won on the show. Unbelievable! 
Unbelievable! <laughs> Number 1. The Famous Fanny Schmeller Even if you don't watch The Chase, you probably saw this one making the rounds online. Whilst asking a question about the gym and skier, Bradley can barely keep it together while he tries to get through her name. Which to an English speaker sounds like a double entendre. In what sport does Fanny Schmeller compete for Germany? There's nothing funnier than watching Bradley contort his face as he struggles to maintain composure. <laughs> Although eventually he just collapses into uncontrollable laughter, taking everyone else down with him as well, even the governess. A few years later, Bradley admitted that he owed the alpine skier an apology, but supposedly she wasn't interested. We're gonna make a rule now, never to say that again! <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.